Welcome Wildcats and thanks for uh, joining us and a chance for you to get to know Tommy Lloyd a little better, the new men's head basketball coach at the University of Arizona. Tommy, it's been, what, just over three weeks now you've been on the job. How's it going so far? Well, I think it's uh, almost exactly three weeks today. It's, it's, uh, it's been great. You know, um, you know it's, it's everything I would have hoped for. The, the people of Tucson have been amazing. The athletic department at the university has been really welcoming and, and really helpful. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up to be here, and, and every day I wake up and I'm excited to do it again. Is there anything you've learned in the last three weeks that has surprised you, something you didn't know about the university or, or Tucson? Hmm, well, I mean, nothing in particular that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, you know, I, I, I really came in here with an open mind, and, uh, you know, having been at one place for 22 years, you probably get comfortable to how things were done there, and I didn't want to assume that the Gonzaga way was, was the best way. So coming down here and, and, and learning how they operate has been a ton of fun. And, uh, you know, I had really high expectations when I came down here and, and they've all been met. All right, so you mentioned the Gonzaga way. What's the Tommy Lloyd way? What do you want this program to become? I want to do things the right way. And, and I know that's a pretty generic term, but, you know, on the court, off the court. I want our, our players to represent the university well. And I want our guys to hold themselves to a really high standard and I want them to, to meet that standard. It's my job to kind of make sure that standard's high enough and, and to push them to get there. You've had a chance, of course, to work out with the guys now for a few weeks. What are some of your early impressions of the current roster? Exciting. Uh, I, I've really enjoyed the time on the court with the guys. You know, I, I think they, they've been well taught. I mean, they were young players, a lot of them. The, you know, most of them come in, you know, freshman or sophomore. So at the point of their career where they've really established a good foundation and I think now they're ready to take off and uh, I look forward to helping them on the next step of that journey. Of course, summer's coming up now. What, what are the goals? What have you discussed with your players as terms what you'd like to see them do between now and fall? Well, we've had individual meetings with each guy, you know, a, a few of them. And just trying to map out a plan, you know, of tangible things they can get better at and kind of breaking it up over the course of the summer. And, and right now, we're starting with a kind of a May plan for our guys, and a lot of our guys now are rightfully so are going back home and getting time with their family. But I really, you know, encourage them to, to get in the gym and, and make gains in areas that, you know, I, I think they'll need to take the next step as a player and, and things maybe I observed in some of the workouts we were doing here in areas they can improve. That's gotta be a good feeling for those guys, especially the international players that haven't seen their families now in maybe over a year to get a chance now to, to get back, get some hugs and, and, and see everybody again. I mean, I think it's super important. And I don't think people realize the sacrifices those international kids make at such a young age. And I don't think many American families could imagine sending their 17, 18 year old son halfway across the world in a different school system where they speak a different language and you know maybe the basketball's at a higher level than they've ever played so it's a lot for those international kids to take on and then you know during COVID not being able to go home or their families come over to see them I think was not very good so for them to be able to do that I, is something I, I really encourage and I hope they get as much time as they can with their families this summer. You recruit you've recruited successfully both nationally and internationally do you have a, a game plan or is it really where are the best players? Well, it's, it's always where the best players are. The best players that are the best fit for our program at that time. And obviously there's a lot of international players that have, were in the program when, when I got the job, which is a good thing. And so I knew most of those kids and was comfortable with most of them and most of them were comfortable with me. And, and I think, you know, this off season will add a few more international players just from kids that were kind of on my radar the past year. But, but I think long term, I don't think you're looking at a, you know, more international players and American players in the team. I mean, obviously, the University of Arizona is going to be able to attract great players from all over the world, especially in the U.S. And, you know, I would, I would be interested to see in a few years what the ratio looks like, but I would imagine, you know, four or five international players is probably a number I'd be comfortable with. All right, you've had great success at Gonzaga. This program at Arizona has had great success. What's your selling point when you talk to prospective recruits? Coming to the University of Arizona is an opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, it's an opportunity of a lifetime for me, and it's an opportunity of a lifetime for them. And, and I think if we do it together and, and kind of wrap our heads around it and our arms around it and make a hard push, I think great things can happen for, for the program and for the individuals that are part of it. You've had a chance to touch base with a lot of the former alumni, many of whom you actually coached against in, in years past. Uh, what's it been like touching base with guys that you saw on the other side of the court and, and now are part of the family? I mean, they've been great. Uh, the love they have for this place is awesome. And it's something that really uh, motivates me. And, um, and, and I know, you know, I've got a great responsibility 
to, to make sure the program you know, maintains the standard those guys have set in the past. And it's something that I don't take lightly. And, and I want to make sure when those former players are watching an Arizona game, they're watching it with pride. And uh, proud of the product we're putting on the floor, proud of the way we're doing things. Tell us about the staff you put together now. There's some familiar names to Arizona fans, and there's some, some young men that have worked with you in the past. When I took the job, I really wanted to take my time, you know, putting the staff together, and, and, and I wanted to make sure I wasn't just making knee-jerk reactions and doing things that made me the most comfortable. I wanted to really get to meet people down here and, and get the lay of the land. And, and, and so the opportunity for me to keep, you know, Jack Murphy and Jason Terry, you know, was tremendous. You know, that I'm glad they wanted to stay on. They're, they're both guys that, that know this place well, know how this place operates. And I think that's super important. You know, when, when you get a job is you need to have somebody who knows the lay of the land and can point you in the right directions and get you in front of the right people. And then, you know, I was able to bring some guys, you know, you know, and our support staff that I know really well and I've worked with in the past at Gonzaga. And, and these guys are, you know, high IQ, high potential, high character guys. They know, uh, they know me well. They know what makes me tick. They know how I want to play. And uh, I think they can really help me kind of, you know, build the foundation of the culture we want Arizona basketball to be. Wasn't that long ago, I don't think any of us had ever heard of the words transfer portal. Now it seems to be in, uh, an everyday part of our language now. How has it affected college basketball and how do you use it? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a big impact. I mean, it's obviously the landscape of recruiting has changed over the last four or five years. And, and now, you know, with, with kids being able to basically play right away without having to sit out, it's, uh, it's really changed the game. So I'm, I'm trying to be really mindful and kind of observe how things are going as opposed to, you know, jumping both feet into the transfer portal and, and, and potentially making mistakes. Um, I think we have a good foundation here. I like the recruiting pieces we're involved with. We've, we've been mindful and put time into those, those recruitments. And I think the foundation's set and I'm looking forward to some positive results soon. All right, back to the international recruiting for a moment. Just a guesstimate, how many pages in your passport have been stamped? Oh, you know, I always have to get the passport that has extra pages. Okay. You see that box you check there? And, and, uh, and yeah, I, I've been through, I've had to send passports back, you know, to the, to the passport agency and, and have them add pages before. And, uh, and I've, I've definitely keep them in a box somewhere because someday it's going to be great memories going through and looking at all those stamps. All right. You've got a great family. Your son plays at Grand Canyon. Your, your daughter's going to be here her soon. Uh, what, what are their impressions of Tucson so far? They were blown away. I mean, I think they were, you know, they, they've grown up at Gonzaga, so they know what uh, big time college basketball looks like. And coming here, I think, you know, it even opened their eyes a little bit more. And, uh, and, and they're super excited for me and, and super excited for our family for this opportunity. All right, uh, another question uh, new Tucsonans always have to answer at some point, and that is uh, flour or corn? We're talking flour. tortillas now. Flour? Uh, flour, definitely. Okay. Now, I like corn too. Yes. But I definitely like flour. Okay. But, uh, but the food is, is obviously one of the great parts of our, our city, and I know you've had a chance already to get a taste of that. That's what the family's really going to enjoy. When they yeah, we, we look forward to that. Right now, I've kind of just been going between. You know the the hotel I'm staying in and in, 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 the, in the arena. So basically, I'm wearing Campbell Avenue out. So uh, I look forward to seeing more of Tucson in the coming months. Okay, so we've talked about your players, and you and your staff are going to be very busy over the next few months. Again, take us through what what your game plan is between now and fall practice. Well, you know, we, we have to get some things done recruiting wise. I mean, that that's you know at the at the top of the agenda. I think the first thing I wanted to do is come and kind of. You know, stabilize the current roster and figure out exactly what that's going to look like. And I think we've, you know, kind of settled in that area. And now it's, you know, recruiting pieces to finish out the roster. And then, and then the big thing is going to be uh, starting to put in our system and, and individual work and practices and uh, building the product. You know, we want to have on the court and really helping guys make the off-season jump that that that's required of great players. All right. Well, I know people love seeing you here. We're glad you're here, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. We can hardly wait for the season to get started, and uh, for everyone in college basketball, the fans back again, because you know this arena, it's one of the great ones in college basketball. Well, my fingers are crossed, and that McHale will be full, and, and, and the opponents will be feeling the full force of it, and, and the product on the floor will be something that makes the fans proud. All right. He is Tommy Lloyd, the new men's basketball coach at the University of Arizona, and thanks for joining us.